now welcome to our into our next video so right now we are going to look at the two fund theorem right so basically what the two fund theorem tells us is that when you have um two mutual funds uh i mean like when you want to build your own put portfolio uh as you can see on Marquette's model, what you had to do is to find the variance of each of the asset, the covariance of the asset, as well as the return for, for each of the asset in, in order to build a portfolio that is going to be on the efficient frontier. And it's going to be a lot of work. <clears throat> so the two fund theorem simplify our search uh, or maybe our, again, I'm like the way we build uh, the efficient uh, portfolio. So basically what the two fund theorem tells us is that if you can find any two uh, portfolios or any two mutual funds that lie on the efficient frontier, you are able to build a portfolio using those two uh, assets which lies on the, on the efficient uh, frontier to make your own desired portfolio. Perhaps let's say you have fund A, which is the minimum variance portfolio as well as this one here fund b right in in order to build your own portfolio let's say maybe you want these returns over here let's say these are the returns that you are looking for these are the returns that you are look, looking for right you are able to utilize the two port portfolios and then build uh your own desired port portfolio we will just call this thing the returns of p right so if you want to build the returns of P, you will have, um, maybe instead of writing the, the NVP, I can just write uh, A, right? So you will have um, the weight for asset A as, as well as the returns for asset A, and then the weight for asset B as well as the returns for asset B. I mean, like for the, for, for the rate of return for assets of the fund B, right? So A and B are, are mutual fund. They are built in such a way that they are on the efficient frontier. So in order to make your own desired portfolio P, instead of looking at all risky assets um, of the feasible set, you can basically just look at two mutual funds that lie on the efficient frontier. That I would like to emphasize, two mutual funds that lie on the efficient frontier. So once you have found those two mutual funds, you are able to build your own uh, portfolio P, right? So in such a way that your portfolio is also going to lie on the efficient frontier. That is the point of the two fund theorem. So if you want, you are able to say, uh, let the weight of A be equals to weight, right? So this means that the weight of B is going to be one minus weight, right? So we already know this. Um, <coughs> you, are, you, are, you, are, you are able to say weight of the return of A plus one minus weight of the returns of p right so now what you want to do is to say okay now you know the kind of returns that you want to achieve right so how should you allocate uh the assets so you are basically how should you allocate your weight in each of the assets so you are trying to solve for w right so if you want to solve for w this is the answer that you are going to get so w um you can make w the subject of the formula right so you will have the like w is going to be equals to um rp minus the returns of portfolio b and then you will have um the returns of mutual fund a minus the returns of mutual fund b so sometimes i use the word interchangeably like put portfolio or mutual fund like i hope i'm not uh distracting you a lot but then i am basically referring to the same thing right so you are trying to build a portfolio b right so the, those are the returns that you are desiring and you also know uh about asset a i mean mutual fund a and mutual fund b so you are able to find how much should you allocate in mutual fund a so that uh, you should have um uh your own desired port portfolio which in turn is also going to lie on the efficient frontier so whatever portfolio you, you you are going to get is going to lie on the efficient frontier so this is the whole point of uh, the two fund theorem is that you are able to make your own desired portfolio which lie on the efficient frontier by looking only at two mutual funds which lie on the efficient frontier and this is how you find the weight of one of those assets particularly the weight of asset 
A. And that's it. So to find the weight of um, of mutual fund B, you, you just have to say 1 minus the weight of mutual fund A, which is which is going to give you the answer for the remaining weight, right? So there are two mutual funds, so it's going to be easier this way. Okay, thank you. I hope this helped.